you're doing it all wrong. It'll never burn like that. First, we'll need some kerosene. Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch. This is beautiful. The devil's handiwork consumed by the fires of righteousness. <laughs> burn, you sucker! Burn! She was never this passionate when we were dating. Uh, oh. What is it then? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in the valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. I'm a hooligan. <laughs> Did I lay it all too thick? Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Hill Valley destroyed my fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story. Am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall. You and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals to... Hey. You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in the Hayesville Herald. Two months' worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. There's Beauregard Tannen's half-finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back. You go through the front. Got it. No, stop. It's just me. Mr. Sagan, what are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same question, Miss Pickford. Isn't it obvious? I'm putting an end to your den of iniquity before it starts. I don't think so, Mary. I don't like shooting women, but no one comes between Beauregard B. Tannen and his livelihood. Tannen, stop! If you shoot her, she'll drop the torch, and this whole place will burn up. Edna, stop! If you drop that torch, he'll shoot us! Looks like we're at something of a standoff here, Mr. Tannen. I don't see a way out, unless somebody manages to disarm both of you at the same time. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I wonder what's in these. Oh, stop quiet! God. What the hell? Oh, cow crap! There goes all my pickled pig's feet! It's right over his head, but I can't knock him out while Edna's still holding that torch. Going down. Looks like your torch is getting a little dim there, Miss Pickford. It's still hot enough to bring down this little bit of Gamora, Tannen. All right, physics. Huh? 
What was that noise? What noise? I didn't hear a noise. Was that a mouse? What's the matter, Miss Pickford? Scared of a little mouse? No, but you should be scared. Mice carry diseases. It's a fact. Look it up. Okay, that was lucky. Won't be long now. We'll just see. Come on. Got any last words? I'll see you in hell, Tannen. You first, lady. Come on, you son of a... the hell are you? I'm the diversion, butthead. Nice one, Doc. Don't tell Clara. She thinks fisticuffs set a bad example for the boys. Now, where's Edna? Doc, she's gone. Edna's DeLorean. We gotta stop her before she hits any mile per hour. Come on! Nothing to be worried about. You're a smart woman with a strong moral compass. You just need to think your way out of it. Oh, fudge! Well, what's she doing? I think she's spouting euphemisms at us. Luckily, the road out of Hill Valley is still pretty rough in 1875. It's unlikely she managed to accelerate 88 miles an hour anytime soon. How are we gonna stop her? Good question. You can't risk injuring her or damaging the vehicle for fear of altering the timeline even further. Luckily, those diagnostic lights my alternate self put all over her the lawyer have given me an idea. Here, take these. What are these? Flux synchronization modules. How do they work? I generally use them for maintenance purposes. But we might be able to use them to sync up with the alternate lawyer's diagnostic modules, thus making it possible to deliver both sets of time streams and override the time destination of the alternate DeLorean. At least that's the theory, anyway. That's a great plan, I think. Best of all, we won't need to weld the modules to the frame. We can just snap them over the diagnostic lights. Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to go out there? How the heck am I supposed to do that? Good question. Let me think. Aha! Hoverboard! It saved our hides a few times before, so it seemed like the appropriate tool to bring along for the job. Sweet! You okay? It's just like riding a bike. Ready to make the jump? Ready, Doc. Excellent. Now let's get 
that fucking fly last wall before she starts making life difficult. She's been making it easy up till now? Well, here goes nothing, Doc. Whoa! Perfect! Now, aim the fuck thing towards the receiving dish on my DeLorean. The receiving dish, receiving dish, uh, check! English, Doc. We've got to get Edna home. Now! 